I don't know, I expected Vortimer, Grade 2 and 1, to be those cards, but we're, they were already revealed over the last two days. So, it might be some other cards. And on top of that, we're getting some information for the next Bush Road strategy planning presentation that will happen in January normally, as it does every year. Alright, so, presentation on the 18th and 19th of January. So, that's in literally one month. So in exactly one month, we're going to have the big, you know, biannual Bushroad presentation where they announce the products for the coming half a year. And normally it's only one day, but this time they split it into two. And day one will be Vice and Rebirth, and day two will be just Vanguard. And this is really rare because normally they would put everything, including Buddy Fight and all their other games, into one day. So this tells me that there's a lot to talk about for Vanguard. Oh yeah, this is on the same days as Worlds normally would be. Oh man. But yeah, this is definitely going to be just all overdress. One whole day of Vanguard. Oh no! Stop! I did not Yoyaku. Please shut up. No Yoyakus for you. If you're going to risk Australia's livelihood, I will not support you by Yoyakuing anything. <laughs> there will be no Yoyakus happening in these streets, Dr. O. I'm here to save Australia yet again. Nope, 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 nope. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. We are not doing this, Suruki Eli, what's up? Oh my god, he's asking people, it's like, oh, there's some of you that don't know how to make a puzzle? Let me explain. No, I'm sure we know how to make a puzzle if we know how to play a card game. Dr. O. No, we, we don't eat the pieces, we don't. It's okay, just... I can only save Australia so many times, man. I think I'm, I'm, think I'm running, running out of energy. I think I can only save Australia so many more times, y'all. I think soon... I might have to give up on my mission. Rank fight week for Vanguard Zero. Rank points are increased by 1.5. Oh yeah, this is happening in three days? They changed the logo again! What the fuck? They keep changing the logo. At first it was Holly Night Party, and now it's Welcome Night Holy Night Party. If we ever hit like a thousand Twitch subs, we will I will buy the Bermuda puzzle. And then fucking throw it away instantly after it's done. <laughs> oh, so the next product release dates will be on March 25th, April 3rd, and April 17th. They cannot say what those products will be yet. We will find out what those products will be on the 19th. On the 19th of January. But those are the dates. Oh, wait, for real? They're just gonna replay the Vortimers as the two bonus cards? Alright, if you haven't seen them already... If you haven't seen them already... Vortimer Grade 1 is a triple rare for golds. Uh, Vanguard Circle when placed, look at the top seven cards of your deck. Find either a Spectral Duke Dragon or a... Kokuryu no Kishi Vortima. So the Grade 2 Vortimer. And reveal it to your opponent, add it to your hand, shuffle your deck. And then the uh, second skill is, when retired from your regard circle, you may put this card into your soul. For that turn, give your Vanguard plus 5k power. So we're just getting Spectral Duke today? Alright. I think this is still important to relate to YouTube though, just for the dates of the products that are upcoming, and stuff like that. So I think just for that alone, it's pretty important. Alright, and then, Vortimer Grade 2. Keep in mind that all the cards in this set are triple rares and VR, so there's no such thing as commons or rares. So Vortimer Grade 2, if you didn't see it this morning, Vanguard Rieger Circle, if you have the Grade 1 Vortimer in your soul, this unit gains plus 1k. So that's nice, also 10k attack attacker on Rear Guard. Rear Guard Circle, when retired uh, by your card's ability from Rear Guard Circle, you may put this unit into your soul to counter charge 1. So this tells me that Spectral Duke will need both of them in the soul, because they both, when retired, go to the soul. And then his final skill is, when you ride on top of him with a Spectral Duke Dragon, you may look at the top 5 cards of your deck and call 2 of them. So something tells me the Spectral Duke will require the Vortimers in Soul. That's the only thing I can really say. That's all I can really say. Yeah, the art is really cool. They captured like the old style of the these cards while giving them new skills. Alright, here we go. Spectral Duke Dragon! Alright. First skill, Vanguard Circle. If you have a Grade 2 Vortimer in your Soul, this unit gains plus 1000 power. And if your opponent's vanguard is grade 3 or higher, he gains a crit. Only plus 1000 power? Are you sure that's not supposed to be plus 10k? Yeah, it's not. 
And then his second skill is... Vanguard Circle once per turn. At the end of the battle that he attacked, Kalmas 1, retire 3 rearguards. Stand this unit. For that turn, he loses 1 drive check. If your damage is 4 or more, instead of drive minus 1, he gets drive plus 1. Oh shit! Oh shit, that's kinda sexy. Thematically, I love this. Thematically, this is really cool. Because this is basically like, you know, it's kind of a Shadow Paladin, so it's a, it's 13k base to hit the sort of force numbers. It gets a crit for nothing. And then he restands with a drive if you are on limit break, basically. I really like this. I really like this. I'm a huge fan. I'm a huge fan. It's not that strong, but I'm a huge fan of the flavor. I'm a huge fan of the flavor. Alright, so he rode and he top tech both Fortimers. Very good. Strong, powerful. Limitless potential. Damn, that's pretty sexy. I, I like this a lot. This is really thematically cool. Like, I love when they put in effort. Oh, they're playing with proxies, aren't they? I can see that it's, it's cut out. Spectral could have been the savior of shadows. I mean, do shadows need a savior? Aglovail? Yes, sir. This this pretty blue boy is Aglovail. Damn, I love how flavorful this is. That's literally like the best part of this. Like, even if it's not like a game-breaking card, I love how flavorful it is. They they aced it. I just wonder what they're gonna do with... Uh... Alright, so yeah, because he's at 4 damage, he gains plus 1 drive instead. And the grade 2's got retired, so they give plus 5k each, right? Or is that the grade 1? That's the grade 1, I think. Yeah, the grade 1 gives plus 5k, and the grade 2 counter charges. Damn, that's really good. Is Time Reaper gonna time leap? I would assume it. I would assume so. Pretty Blue Boy and Grand Blue by that name too? Yeah, 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 I know, I know, I know. CBD will be last? Yeah, probably. Probably, probably. It's by far the most hyped. I guess we're gonna hold on to Vermilion the Blood for a while too. Did the Owen Wilson get second place in your Digimon tournament? He did, yeah. It was the Owen Wilson. <laughs> Alright, cool. Good good way to start um, Client Selection Volume 1. Keep in mind that so far we've only seen Client Selection Volume 2. Next week is Venom Stinger and Christmas Campaign. Well, <laughs> I uh, won't be too excited about that one. <laughs> I mean, we'll still watch it, but that is definitely not going to be a recap on YouTube material. Who's that? That's the Mega Colony guy. The real question for next week is, will DF have to protect Australia again? Hopefully the puzzle is out and we're done with Bermuda. Please. Anyway, good stream. Good stream. We saved Australia, we saw Spectral Duke, and we know when uh, overdressed news should be- No! <gasps> you fucking bitch! Oh my god. The mix-up, man. The, the mix-up. <coughs> I can't...